All right. I just got this GoPro. GoPro 8 Black. Replacing the GoPro 7 Black. Uh, so this is the first time I'm using this. I think there might be a problem because I noticed um, I'm not getting any audio, you know, and running the videos back. I don't see any like uh, audio bars and so forth for like the first three set of uh, videos. Hmm. That's probably like 14 minutes. What? So I'm going to talk for a while and uh, of course I see uh, there's audio like uh, maybe like in the third in the third video is coming up. So this area here this is Vinegar Hill walking down Bridge Street That sign there shows there's a chiropractor there. If you have back pain, if you have any sciatica, nerve pain, I didn't even know there was a chiropractor in there until I saw one of those signs, like you see in Times Square, <laughs> all lit up. Yeah. So right over there. That's the Con Edison plant. Con Edison. Confederated Edison. Okay. So that's where the power plant is. It sits right there in the east river yeah now what I was saying and uh, it, it didn't come out is that there's signs over there that tell you no photography is allowed you're not allowed to take pictures of the Con Edison plant you know uh, I, I think this was put up during the time with all the terrorism hype and so forth. It's like, why would you, why would you need a, a sign telling people? Just like in the subways too. It used to be, uh, <clears throat> at one time they would tell you don't take pictures like in the subway when there was the terrorism stuff. I remember that. People were all hyped up. The police were all hyped up. I mean, it's ridiculous. If you take a picture in the subway, what's that going to do? You know, <laughs> if you're a terrorist. Uh, so this kind of this implant here, I don't think you need photos to be a terrorist. But anyway, the GoPro 8 has um, a stabilizer. I'm looking to see how this is working out because um, I wasn't using my stabilizer, the one that I bought for the GoPro 7. It could be hooked up, but I wanted to test this out and see if the video is shaky while I'm walking. So far it's not really it's not really shaky, it's just that I've been moving my hand a lot. But that's not like a shaky video, you know? <laughs> like what you expect when it's shaking. If I don't move my hand a lot then it's steady when I'm walking, as you see right there, right there. You're getting a more steady 
the U.S. government is not moving around a lot. Okay. Let's see a DHL. DHL van over there. U.S. Postal Service. UPS over there. So this street over there is called John Street. John Street. Hmm. The show cleaned this up. At one time you couldn't even walk through here. You had to like walk around. Yeah, you had to walk in the sh walk in the street at one point. Now this is cleaned up. So these are uh, those brown buildings right there. These were like warehouses at one point. They go back over a hundred years, those warehouses. All these buildings are new. When I say new, probably built in the last five, six years. So ahead, that blue bridge there is the Manhattan Bridge. I believe the Manhattan Bridge, uh, I believe it opened maybe around 1904. So it's over 100 years old. And that's the East, the East River. So New York, New York City has two rivers. This one you're looking at here, the East River, and the Hudson River. Most cities have like most cities they have like a, one river, like in like in London, for example, you have the Thames. The Thames River. In Germany, you have the Danube. In in Bangkok, Thailand, they have the Chaya Phraya River. That's the main river that cuts through Bangkok. But New York is an exception. Being that it's an it's an island, Manhattan Island and you can go around. So you have on the west side of it, there's the Hudson River, and the east side is uh, the East River. I'm surprised they haven't renamed it, you know? It's like lately they name everything. So the Hudson River, named after Henry Hudson, Henry Hudson was actually an, an Englishman, but he worked for a, a Dutch company. So when he sailed down, I think it was in the what's that, 16, 1600s or something like that. 
um, the Dutch framed it. So New York, at least this part, was claimed by the Dutch. So New York and New Jersey were part of the greater Netherlands. Yeah, that's right. Many, <laughs> many people may not know that. New York, New York and New Jersey. Part of the greater Netherlands. At one time that existed. And the Dutch, the Dutch actually had Brooklyn. Yeah, they, they control and own Brooklyn at one point. So you see, even even the name Brooklyn is a Dutch name from a from a a city or town in the Netherlands called Brooklyn. It's spelled differently, but it's the same. Just like. Um, in Brooklyn, there are certain areas that are Dutch name, like we have New Utrecht. You know? In the Netherlands, there's a there's a place called Utrecht, a city or town called Utrecht. So we have a New Utrecht, yeah, in southern Brooklyn, like the one like Benson Bensonhurst that area out there. You see Utrecht. Matter of fact, that used to be a different a different city. It was I think it was part of Long Island at one point. And then they joined up with um with Brooklyn later on because if you ever heard the term South Brooklyn, when people use that term, they meant like Red Hook. That's where Brooklyn really ended. <laughs> anything, anything beyond that, like Bay Ridge, Bensonhurst, Borough Park, that was really part of uh, New Utrecht or Utrecht. Yeah, New Utrecht. Totally different. And then later on, they joined up. I think it might have been around 18, 1894. They joined up with um, with Brooklyn to join Manhattan. So they formed that borough, uh, Brooklyn. So Brooklyn itself was made up of different um, villages. <laughs> the original Brooklyn. And Bensonhurst, Bay Ridge, all these areas like that, they were not really part of, uh, they were not part of New York, they were not really part of uh, Brooklyn. Brooklyn was his own city. Yeah. All right, so right there you see the East River you see the Manhattan Bridge? That building, that tall building there, I have my complaints about it. It's like whoever allowed these people to construct that building, it's ridiculous. Look how tall it is. The address is 1 Manhattan Plaza. It's like, why would you build a building like that, that tall? right there near the Manhattan Bridge. It stands out. It's so ridiculous. It doesn't belong there. So these warehouses here on the left hand side they used to um, store tobacco these are going back to the pre-Civil War, so we're talking about the 1860s, around that time, when the boats used to come in and offload 
tobacco and put in those warehouses so th these those buildings are way more than a hundred years old right there and uh, they converted them to like um, some different businesses I think Elm is a business called M M Street something like that so this whole area was kind of converted commercialized but these were just sitting there empty empty warehouses from the 1860s era so this is how it looks in the dead of winter the, th the 30th of January 2024 and you're right in the middle of winter <laughs> no snow none zero snow there's a theater right there I never been to the show but that's where they renovated it and put a theater in there we passed the carousel you might have seen the carousel on the right hand side Anne's carousel if you if you roll back a little on the tape you see the Anne's carousel Probably got some audio here. All right. All right. So my battery. So my battery went out. I have to put the. I have to put the. Uh, another battery in. Another battery in. This is the. This is the. The battery I'm using, the battery right, I'm using right, right now is the one that camera. came with this camera. Time travel. That's the name of that. That's the name of that. It's very old. Coming in there. Not sure where it's going. I have a ticket. I can actually jump on board if I want.
barge music usually in the summer they play music in here Brooklyn ice cream shop that used to be over here, they moved to the other side. They moved across the street over there. They used to be right here. The Brooklyn ice cream. This here is Pier 1. If you go back in time, when I used to work down on the pier, I guess I, I never really talk about this much. When I worked with the federal government back then, like in the mid 80s or so. And I used to work out of the Red Hook uh, Pier. We had an office over there, but our, our day office or main office where we start off was around like 29th Street, 3rd Avenue, that building down there, in one of the federal buildings. Now I see that building is all commercial. Then we will take the car and go to the Red Hook Pier. But this pier right here used to be warehouses. Right where I'm walking right now, there were warehouses right all here. And they would uh, like store stuff in there, different stuff. We, we had to do uh, fumigation back in those days, like they have certain products that were coming and they were fumigated with, with a, a, a gas by the name of methyl bromide. All that was down here. I don't even think the people around here knew. <laughs> the people who lived in this area. Well, these buildings were not here. These buildings are new. But you have the promenade right over there. The promenade looks down at this area. Yeah. So, history in the 
pack. During the 19th century, the East River was struck with ships day and night. On a busy day, several dozen sailing vessels and steamers might have arrived at and departed from Brooklyn Piers, which is right here. These are the Brooklyn Piers. Ferry boats carried thousands of commuters across the river because there was no Brooklyn Bridge in those days. While barges, tug boats, and fishing smacks added to the traffic, Brooklyn depended on this unended flow of boats, goods, and people. So, Thomas Horner, New York, Brooklyn, 1835. Look how it looked. And you're looking over in Manhattan. No skyscrapers. Yeah. New York from Brooklyn. So this area, it wasn't until around 2008, 2009, that's when they turned this into this park, Brooklyn Bridge Park. And then that, it was all old warehouses. Yep. <laughs> all old warehouses. Because I used to come working here. Used to drive right in with the car, come right to the warehouse. And the guy who used to do the fumigation, he died. He he had uh, cancer. Spending a lot of time around that gas, metal bromide. there with the blue top that's pair two we didn't used to go down there we used to just come to pier pier one seems like it's getting colder now Ooh. That's the BQE, the acronym for Brooklyn Queens Expressway. I think they want to do some work in that. There's an upper level and a lower level.
see and some birds there those are the Canada geese in the dead of winter there's not much food but they apparently they're eating something There was a woman earlier, I think my battery had begun to die, so I don't know if I caught her, you know, because the battery was dying. But this woman was like talking to herself real loud, talking like she's seen the person she's talking to, using really bad words. And she went on like that for, I don't know, a good amount of time. She sees a kid's pass passing by. She's talking about the kid. Some people really have some mental issues. The way she was, first I thought she was talking to me. <laughs> the way she was like looking toward me. I'm wearing mittens. Not really gloves, so my hands are beginning to feel the cold. Not well protected.
sign over there that says the original and world famous Brooklyn ice cream. They used to be right here in this building. And now they move over there. Maybe the maybe the reason they moved because in that place you can dine, you can sit in, and in the summer you can sit outside. Uh, it's probably maybe like a restaurant now. That's probably why they moved it. So that all of our ice cream is made on premises. I remember when we used to make ice cream at home. We had a machine and my mother had the ingredients. Yeah. My mother actually made ice cream. And you got the ice, everything like that. And make some really good ice cream. But who has time to make ice cream these days? You can buy ice cream. But we used to do it. We had the machine. And we would turn by hand. And then it would slow down. And that's when you know. You have the real good ice cream. So I heard they better situated the microphone on the GoPro 8. Then how it was placed on the GoPro 7. So I have to check all this out when I upload to see how the video comes out. blocks from here is the the Instagram site where people come from all over to take pictures. Well, I want to see how good this is to stabilize it because. Usually when you walk in the, you know, the video shakes, but I'm not using the stabilizer. I left it at home. Because I want to see how good this thing is. If it will work well.
construction here. Look at that new building there. It looks like a ship. Sweet and savory. TV. Right here you see the Manhattan Bridge. This yeah. This is Washington Street. And then this section of Water Street. I'm not sure why. I grew up around here. I used to see this all the time. <laughs> Nobody used to come take pictures. But then there was no Instagram.
the CVS over there, pharmacy. CVS is new. It opened up sometime last year. Most people who go to the Brooklyn Bridge Park down the waterfront, they take the train over there. That's the thing. This luxury building here, this is built, this is be a parking lot that the Jehovah Witnesses owned the sold the land. This park much more presentable. I'm not sure if these are lights or cameras right there. Probably lights. from it takes up the whole block. You have commercial, luxury, residential, everything. Temperature is 1C. 
said right there up there it's three minutes after five 32 degrees Fahrenheit 1c Celsius so they, re they sure we did this path water they usually shut the water off during the winter otherwise it will freeze okay so I hope you enjoy the video this area here Dumbo Brooklyn really vinegar hill really that's what it is um and York Street is right there so if you're coming down this way all you do is if you're coming from Manhattan after East Broadway is York Street. If you're coming from Brooklyn, after J Street Metro Tech, one stop is York Street. You have a nice day.